I'm going to be showing you bony landmarks of the hip or the pelvis. The pelvis is actually two bones. Um, they're called innominate bones, which means bones of no name. So it goes from this groove at the front, the pubis symphysis, goes all the way around, turn it around here to this area. So that's one whole bone. That's one whole bone. The sacrum is a separate bone. Um, and each one of these two innominate bones have three sections. We've got the ilium, the flat bones at the top. We've got the front bones here, the pubic bones. And then we've got these big loops of bones, commonly called the sitting bones. Um, and the very bottom part, if you've looked at the other videos, hopefully you know the attachment of the hamstrings. That's the ischial tuberosity. So I've got um, someone on the couch for me. Um, and we're going to be drawing some of those bony landmarks. Okay, and we can keep referring back to this structure. So the first thing I'm going to draw is the iliac crest. Now I can feel the iliac crest is always higher than you think it is. So starting here and working my way up, still on bone, still on bone, and now I'm sinking around the corner. So the iliac crest goes from here, it draws round to this point. So let's find it again. Iliac crest. Um, on some clients, and we can see it a little bit depending on the light, we have two little indentations. Are you? Can you see that on the video? If I put my thumbs there, there's two indentations. If not, thumbprints. Okay. Um, those two areas are called the dimples of Venus. Uh, they're natural skin dimples on some people that can you can use to identify where the PSI is below it. So we can see it's here. The iliac crest continues round. And if we have a look at this model here, it's quite thick down this area. So the end of the iliac crest is like so. We've got iliac crest coming round to that PSIS, which is this area. If I draw the other side as well. Okay. So they're my two PSIS. In between the PSIS, in between these two areas here, we've got the sacrum. And the sacrum is a heart-shaped bone. Sacrum uh, is named after sacred, which is holy. So we've got a large sacrum in the middle here. And it extends down. And uh, I'll only be able to get to a certain part here. But I just want to make you aware of these two areas here. So where the ilium or the iliac crest attach here onto the sacrum, that's the SI joint, the sacroiliac joint. And a lot of people have issues, or some people have issues with that joint, the SI joint or SI joint dysfunction. Um, you can also see the holes in the sacrum and they are where the sacral nerves go through. So we've got four, four little nerves or foramen within the sacrum. Okay, so we've got sacrum, we've got iliac crest, we've got these, PSIS, posterior superior iliac spine. Um, from this section as well, I can come around to the side of the hip, and if I have a little feel here, there's quite a big circle of bone. I don't know if you can see my fingers going over it. So I'll draw it as a circle, it's normally around the size of a golf ball, and that's called the greater trochanter. The greater trochanter, if we just have a look over here, is at the very top of the femur. So the femur comes up at the side of the leg. That's what I've just drawn on. Okay. So there's quite a few attachments on the greater trochanter. Um, coming around here, the bottom fold of the glutes, if you sink in here and press up, you will get to that area here, which I mentioned earlier. That's where the hamstrings attach. So the ischium will look like that. The ischium are two loops of bone, okay, with a foramen or hole in the middle. Okay, we're actually looking from the back view here. So what you can see are these. And the very bottom part of the ischium are the ischial tuberosity, where you have the three hamstrings extending off. So in terms of hip anatomy from the back, we've got PSIS. We've got iliac crest, we've got the sacrum, we've got ischial tuberosity, and we've got the greater trochanter. Also, in terms of joints, we've got here going in and around that PSIS, and you will be on the S 
eye joint, this sacroiliac joint. 